The Filey spacecraft has gone into a long and cold sleep uh, after its successful landing last week. Um, so we're wondering, what's next for it? Well, first of all, sleep. Uh, it, it, of course, its power source has uh, dimmed out, and we were hoping to catch some sunlight. But um, if the, the comet is able to catch some sunlight, maybe it'll wake up and transmit uh, data back to Rosetta, and they'll talk to each other. Rosetta is still hoping that Filey will say hello and waiting for it, and it's very all cute and anthropomorph anthropomorphized. Uh, but it, it's had quite the tumultuous trip after, after last Wednesday. Uh, landing, but the harpoons didn't launch, and then it bounced a kilometer in the air, and it took two hours to come down, and it bounced again. Uh, but it seems to have settled into a shadow on the comet after attempting to use its hammer to break into the, uh, the, the crust. It was harder than once thought. Hmm. Science! Science! Space is hard. Well, Space it, is hard. It is hard, and it was like literally an astronomical amount of math went into this. And yeah. we we even we weren't clear even last week if this was going to be a success or not because this is uh, the first of its kind. Could you imagine spending like an entire life's work on this one like oh, spacecraft years. mission? Yeah, but those guys who are working on it, this is like their baby. That I mean, I'm sure they're going to be doing. Work, yeah, it's a career. Yeah. Like it's a lot, and then to have it potentially just like just skip off into space and never be seen At again. At no point was it guaranteed, even after it landed, you know, the harpoons failed, it bounced, but it managed to settle on the surface. But even then, they were like, hey, great, so it's landed, uh, it's taking pictures of things. No guarantee it'll do anything. Yeah. No guarantee that, that it'll even, but just the amount of, the fact that they had to do multiple passes around the Earth to get that gravitational pull to slingshot it into further orbits and more orbits, I didn't get that far in math. No. I did, yeah. No. Do we have, have pictures that. of the um, the cameras taken? The, yeah. Oh, so those so are both cool. the cameras from the, the Filey, and they return these images taken during their descent to the comet and from its surface. Um, in some images, we can see the shadow of Filey and uh, also itself bouncing <laughs> to I mean, the harpoon like malfunction. Like that, that in itself of I think is no. massive. It definitely is. It's a huge achievement. Yeah. And we're yeah. one step closer to basically being able to send Bruce Willis to destroy asteroids. Mm -hmm. We're one step closer, I well, think. Well, we're one step closer to figuring out how cold it is, what the temperature is. Uh, but the little hammer apparently uh, was it has three settings. It tried the softest, the medium, and the hard one. Didn't work. Then there was a fourth secret setting that secret ended up settings. breaking the hammer. Because, wait, wait, yes, wait. Yeah. There was a Why secret do setting. they need a secret setting? Because because it's yeah. not like they're trying to market this. Well, maybe maybe it's because they didn't want to get anyone's hopes up. <laughs> you didn't want to like admit that you had okay, this skill. The name of that it's like mode. an Easter egg that yeah. science, like it the was, NASA scientists. It was called desperate mode. Yeah, so desperate, desperate mode. mode. They desperate didn't mode. Want so you push you all the buttons. I want them to have science. A zombie mode next for the next expansion. That's what I'm hoping for. Zero gravity mode with jetpacks. I mean that's. What's coming next, right? A coke well, machine. We thought it would be softer. I mean, the comet was called a dirty snowball. It's from the the beginnings of the proto planets and stars and the leftover materials from that. And we thought it would be easier to crack open. It we is not. We thought it'd just be ice and it's, ice and rocks. It's but yeah, quite not that much. So people, we are people, already learning from from this mission. Yeah. People don't realize that that the steel you find steel and iron oxide, like the asteroids that fall to Earth and stuff, are actually, if you look at them under a microscope, they they are not the same. You can tell that they're extraterrestrial. They're not Earth-bound. But if you basically, there's nothing different in them. It's nothing crazy. It's just how the the molecules are arranged. So if you melt it down, then let it reform, mm -hmm. it becomes terrestrial. So, but for some reason, being forged in the crucible of space yeah. makes these metals that they're like, oh, we should be able to punch through sandstone or iron or whatever. Like, nope. In space, everything's stronger. It's, <laughs> it's you know more powerful. So yeah, they they they're gonna have to kind of work in these new space technologies and materials to kind of be able to combat environments we can't even prepare for on Earth because they it's not even possible that they exist on Earth. Exactly. So how do you even prepare? Well, we right now they're using um, an instrument to hopefully analyze it, but we can't do that for the meantime because of the power issue. Oh. Uh, but the uh, hopefully they'll be able to identify carbon-based organic compounds and volatile compounds like water and carbon and carbon dioxide rather uh, and others on the surface of it not yet though and in a little bit hopefully they before the the, the filey shut down they, they angled 
its solar receptor so it could hopefully catch more sun. At some point. So hopefully. it's a little bit of a waiting game right now. I do like that it's they so had crazy. two machines that they could have used, the British machine or the German machine. And they, they were like, nah, let's use the German machine because German efficiency, so you know. Woo! Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Racial <laughs> thing. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I just meant like engineering. Oh, yes. Should have a little VW. Volkswagen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In space. No, not exactly, okay. not quite. But we're, we're going to be looking to see for more developments. Uh, hopefully that uh, the, the Philae will catch some sunlight and be able to transmit more information and have more transmitted to it. And maybe it'll move again, I don't know. Uh, but we'll, we'll continue to watch this. Let us know what you think below in the comments. And please be sure to subscribe for more on Philae.